in this video i will show you how to read the reverse order of the file contents in python using file systems so first i will uh, explain about the what are the steps that are required to read uh, reverse order of the file first thing is we need to open an input file in read mode this i will increase the font size so open an input file in read mode that is the first job we have to do next one apply some logic to get the information in the reverse order once we get output in the reverse order then we need to write the file contents onto a target file so write reverse content into output file so these are the three steps we need to follow to display the reverse order of the con file contents in a target file if you see here i will highlight this one first job is we need to open the input file that is uh, access an input file in read mode next one we need to apply some logic to print the contents in reverse order that result we are going to feed up with the output file output file we need to create in which mode in write mode input file we open in which mode read mode so input file is open in read mode output file is created in write mode in between we created some logic to get the information in reverse order now i will show you program first open the ide and open an uh, new python file first thing is we need to open a file so to open a file follow this syntax there is a method called open the open uh, is a method used to open a file so we need to specify the file name suppose i am going to give the file name as file read demo 1.py i want to open this file in read mode and this file okay this file is called as input file so i am giving like this uh, input 1 now input file is pointing to input file is uh, using the read function i am going to read all the contents in the input file so how can i read it uh, it returns some results that is holded in a data so input 1 is my file pointer using the uh, read function i am reading all the lines of information at a time and that is assigned to a variable called data variable once i come out of this block once i come out of this block so now the first task is finish what is the first task open an existing file in read mode and read file contents and hold it what is the next one we need to apply some logic to apply some logic on the reverse order so how can i do it with the help of slicing i can do it minus 1 see in my previous e video i explained about what is the use of uh, slicing how can we obtain the reverse order of uh, slicing this one so colon colon minus 1 so to better understand about this colon colon minus 1 i will open one more file i will show you i created a list here and i assign with some values now i want to print the whole list that is l1 so first if i want to print the reverse order of the list then i can print like this l1 colon colon minus 1 see i will save this sample dot py under our respective directory if i run this program you can observe what is the importance of this one this is going to print the reverse order of the original list reverse order means suppose this is 8,9 9872165483 normal order and original order means 3456127895 so we obtain both when i am printing l1 it prints the original order when i am printing using this slicing technique it prints the reverse order you can see here this one if you see here the original list is like this 
how i obtain the reverse order with the help of that slicing in slicing if you observe here this one this one this one this is called start value and this is called stop value and this is called step value so this iteration this slicing is expecting three inputs you have to specify the start index where to fetch you have to specify the stop index where to stop and we need to specify how many steps needs to jump when we are not specifying the start value and stop value by default the default beginning value and the default end value will be considered that means the beginning index value and the last index value will be considered into these two places that is the reason we are not specified here but where to start the order is starts from minus one minus one is always point into the last character or the last item in the list because of that reason we are obtained the reverse order of this list this logic we are going to apply on our current files so how i am going to apply i will show you so that is the reason after reading the file contents the result is stored in a variable called data now i applied the reverse order slicing operation on the data after reverse it is holded in a variable called rev now my next target is i need to i need to provide output file name so after reverse where we are going to store all these contents so we are going to store in this one output output 1 is equals to open of open of so result file dot txt as per my choice i can give any name in place of uh, name of the file and name of the file extension but we should open it in write mode because we are going to assign we are going to keep some statements in this resultant file so we should open in write mode whereas our input file we are open only in the read mode now after opening the file in the in this mode the next one is we need to apply write function on the file pointer that is output 1 dot write of what content we are going to write we are going to write after reverse after reverse the result is stored in rev so that we have to give here and after that and finally we need to close this file once we open a file for some purpose once our job is over we need to close it for security reasons and finally we are printing a message to the end user file con reversible file contents reverse file contents generated successfully so like this we are displaying an acknowledgement to the end user who is running this application why because after running this program in the background a file is created with the name result file.txt if you want to check it we need to open the directory where this uh, source file is located there we can find out a file with the name result file.txt you can see all of you and we need to give a file input file called file read demo.1 what is file read demo.1 the current file only i am going to save this file with the name file read demo1 this one file read file read demo1.py and here i am going to save in the regular directory that is this one now so once i run this program i will if there are no errors i will get a print message like reverse file contents are generated successfully with what name result file.txt so run this file so waiting for that confirmation message so there is something is uh, wait uh, output 1 this i am checking this one output 1 output 1 is the file pointer output 1 dot right or i can change this name as uh, because output is a reserved word input is also a reserved word because of that i am getting this error i will do one thing i will do this as a and uh, this is a dot right this is a dot close if i change the naming convention then uh, i can clear the errors see reverse file contents are generated successfully reverse file so where can i can check whether the file is created or not 
So I given the current file as input file to this program file read demo one dot py. Now I can open. This is my directory where I am saving my files. So here I am looking for reverse file. Reverse file. There is a file with the name reverse. Reverse file. This one. If you see here, this is the file. Just now it is created and type of the file is text document. And size of the file is one KB. Now I am trying to open this file. So once I opened it, it is showing in the reverse order of the file. What is uh, my first thing? So if you see, all lines are printed in reverse order. All lines are printed in reverse order. Our uh, slicing is also printed in reverse order. Colon, colon, minus one. If you observe, and read method R E A D. Okay, and file pointer F P, and uh, The name of the file, reverse file, R E V E R S C -E F I L E dot T X T. If you observe, all lines are printed in the reverse order. Now I will open the Word document again. So what I done? So I did first. I opened a file in read mode, and after that I applied slicing operation to get the reverse content of the file. So that is the logic I used. And once I obtain the reverse content, that I want to supply as an input to the output file. Before supplying that, I open a file called reversefile.txt in writing mode. For that, using the write function, I given this data, the reverse content data to target file that is called reversefile.txt. So in this way, we can print the reverse order contents of the file. This one. This one. 